Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the authentication errors occurred and the function request is not supported. So if you're trying to use the remote desktop connection on your computer between another computer, there's a chance you're running into this issue. So we're going to go ahead and jump into how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. First thing I would suggest would be if you're running Windows 10 professional, enterprise, or education, as well as just about any edition of Windows 7 or Windows 8, that you start by opening up the Start menu. Just click on the Start button one time. Type in Local Group Policy. And best match should say Edit Group Policy. You want to left click on that. Now I'm going to make this window a little bit wider here. And another thing before we get too far into it, again, if you don't have group policy editor on your Windows 10 Home Edition computer. Uh, I will have another solution near the end of the video that should hopefully be able to resolve your problem. However, I do like the group policy editor method a bit more in terms of the success rate, which I'm hoping for. So, again, we're going to start with the little group policy editor here. I'm going to minimize the area underneath user configuration, so the little drop down arrow here. I'm just going to left on it one time to hide it. I don't want anybody accidentally going underneath user configuration here because the folders have similar names here as you can tell. I don't want anybody getting confused. And then underneath computer configuration, you want to go ahead and expand administrative templates. Do the same thing now for the system folder. And now just left click on credentials delegation. On the right side there should be something that says encryption oracle remediation. Double click on that one time where it says encryption oracle remediation you want to go ahead and select enabled and once you're done with that left click on apply and OK hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem another thing we can go ahead and try again if that didn't work for you for some reason or if you're running Windows 10 home we can go into the registry editor so we're going to open up the start menu again type in regedit so R-E-G-E-D-I-T Best match should come back to a registry editor right above desktop app. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest creating a backup of it. So in order to do that, just make sure you're highlighting over the computer folder here or the, the computer drop down. So not where it says computer, but the actual computer icon. You want to left click right on it and then left click on file and then export name the file whatever you want I would suggest for simplicity's sake if you name it the date that you're creating the backup it's probably a smart idea and then save it to a location on your computer that you will be able to easily access it make sure export range is selected at all and then left click on save and then if you ever made a mistake and had to go back in and restore your registry back you just do file import and then you just relocate the file on your computer or external media, wherever you end up saving it, and you just sort of find it and then left click on OK to import it. So pretty straightforward on that. So once that is ready to go, we're going to go expand the H key local machine folder. So double click on the H key local machine or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Now you want to go ahead and expand the software folder. So expand software. And now you want to go down to Microsoft, expand Microsoft here. I'm going to drag this over a little bit more so we can see where we're going because it is kind of a far path we're going to be going down on this one. So you can see up here at the top we've done computer, local machine. Now we just did Microsoft. Scroll down until we get to Windows. So I'm going to scroll down here, expand the Windows folder. Now you want to expand the current version. Then I'll scroll down again to get to policies. Right here. You want to expand that. Now you want to expand the system folder. Now you want to expand the cred SSP. And now there should be a folder in here that says parameters. Left click on that one time. Now on the right pane there should be something that says allow encryption oracle in here, a D word value. As you can tell there's not very much in here, so it should be pretty easy to identify. You want to go ahead and just double click on it value data here you want to make sure if it's set to one right now or zero you want to change it to two so just delete whatever value data is currently in here type the number two 
Left one OK. You can see data should change to 2 over here. Once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and hopefully your problem has been resolved. Again, you can see the path that we have taken up here at the top of the registry editor. So pause the video, rewatch the video, whatever you want to do, but you can clearly see the path that we went through. So pretty straightforward tutorial, I like to think. And I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.